expect him to play something like the Brom. Not the best combo with the gym, like Jin? I said. Yeah, it's a bit of a McDonald's combo there. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> at least it's front to back, right? <laughs> he puts up the shield and blocks a few Vars Qs. So. I mean, it's in good. general, one of the big reasons that they rise to popularity outside of the necessity of AD mids is just their clear speed scales so incredibly well. If they get any kind of early advantage, their clear speed ups, their advantage grows more, but Cap's gonna get locked down here. Stun just trying to burn down. Perks is just gonna get cut out. Of the mid lane entirely, yes. It's a spectator Drake at this stage. Kaiser just kind of poking, prodding. Maybe they can hopefully go for something, catch somebody off guard. But they're mostly just there to just watch the Frozen Heart in this game. There's an Azir, the Jin, the Zin, all not going to be happy to see that item on the opposite side. Dive in the bot lane, though. Flacken now trying to get out, has a four shot. Doesn't even get to fire it. One bullet left in the clip. Ansama still standing strong. Meanwhile, top side all in. Catching Wonder out. Wonder will get cut down. Yanko's now going to try to follow up, lock out the entire enemy team. Yike will get taken down. Yanko's, can he go for two? Pull back there for Broken Blade. G2 is they're just not in a position to contest topside. Kaiser coming down here, though, could be disastrous. Keep your eyes on Yike. Swirl sleeves over the wall. If he manages to connect, it could be big. Mickey keeping this play going. Unbreakable now going down. Yike's not quite able to get there, however. Nice knockout coming up from Kaiser. Kaiser can jump back onto Flack, and they're just able to grab the kill. As Perks once again goes for the scoop, Caps jumping out to safety, Yankos does not have anything else left. Fights across the map. g bot lane is constantly looking for picks. Wonder now gonna bring his TP down to the bot lane. They're trying to get a collapse onto Mickey. maybe he can find an execute, does have the Hex Flash. Can he get Hex to over the wall, into the waiting arms of Kaiser, surprise! There's nowhere left to go. Donating the kill over to Perks, pretty big. They should feel very confident that they'll win a fight. And Heretics, they're just going to act as uh, spectators for the time being, say front to back. So even though G2 are finding a lot of these early objectives, I would definitely say they're not out of this game. This time it's Mickey's turn. He will also connect with the Herald. Jumping out to safety, and Kaiser immediately going to try to follow up. Locking down Caps. Flawless CC to take the mid laner out. Instantly Wonder on the flank. Clean flash back from Hansama to try to lock him up. Knock back onto the AD carry. Heretics can win this fight, but Yike is so damn strong. In he goes. That's a very drowsy Zin Zhao. That is a very dead Zin Zhao. Broken Blade on the front line as well. G2 turn it right back. A nice initial engage from Heretics. Broken Blade not done. Go back. Kaiser down as well. G2 so quick to turn that back in their favor, even without Cavs, but Perks, he's not done yet. Lays down the tower, Flacket set up as well. Three, fourth bullet coming through. Broken Blade, too damn tanky. Dashes into the waiting arms of Mickey and walks away clean. They just can't get through. Both Mickey and Yike forcing him out of the engagement. But now we're back to live. Next Dragon, Mickey locked up, knocked back by Wonder. Slows on the ground. Mickey still retreating. Three stacks on the custom blows. They can't get anything else. Kaiser locked up. Kaiser taken out of the equation. G2 moving up to sole point here. Heretic's ready to fight for it, but just didn't have enough. And the thing about that fight, Vedius, is that well, any number of times <laughs> they want true. it, not just four. <laughs> They're probably caught off by how hard it is to kill this tank. Shots now coming in. Mickey will get taken down. Solid pick to kick things off. But yeah, looking for a bit of follow-up. Sleep is big. Hansama there. Just going to mop them up. G2 are disgustingly far ahead. Team Heretics have no business being in this jungle. On paper, it's theirs. In reality, it belongs to G2. And Cap now wants a little bit more. It's feeling a little bit personal. I don't entirely know about that one. Perks going golden. Lineup from Hansama is there. It's clean. It's a double. And G2 are, well, they've taken over completely. I mean, they completely, completely have. You did that bit better. Now the TPs are coming through. Yankos is still far away. There should be a clean secure. Wonder, gonna try to stop it. J only knocks Mickey away though. This might dangerously close to not working, but there is no contest as Broken Blade has zoned Yanko soft. Squirrel Seed connecting as well. Yikes starting to step forward, is gonna be careful. Broken Blade in the middle of five people. Can they kill him? He does not win those. He does not. <laughs> See guys, Cassante. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, yikes. There we go. Yike not gonna get locked up. This is big, but Yike is so strong, it does not matter. Buys a bit of time with the Seekers. Now coming through, trying to get a bit more damage down. Flack it all the way over there, but Hansama... Pushed in, mid's pushed in. And this is happening every single time. It's just push, 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 push. And they, they just feel stuck. We have to catch this wave, but we need to contest this objective. And they just have no control over the map whatsoever. And they're just being run around. Now G2 grouping up yeah. in this bot lane. I'm sorry, just if you thought it was hard to kill Broken Blade before, he now has Mountain Soul, so... Curtain call coming in. Bit of damage on him, Mickey. Wonder going for the knockback there. Not quite going to connect on the wall. Good damage from Flacket. 
Yike gonna watch out Eep his way out to safety. And they're just getting hurted. They're getting chipped away at. The Satchel charge is there. The Unbreakable is down. And now all of Team Heretics are forced to back away. I mean, the Varus poke is just... Uh, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> Heretics are forced to retreat. That's going to be an, an, hip, an inhibitor going down as well. And the Baron spawns in a minute 45. Now, the TP flank, last ditch. <laughs> no matter how good you are. You numbers just do don't lie, man. The yeah. numbers don't lie. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, it's it's just... There's a dive of the old commitment. Enough members. Broken Blade grabs the inhibitor and the tower uncontested. And right now, Team Heretics know they have to commit five members to topside. This is their only avenue back. Cleanse out from Flacken. Broken Blade on the flank. Flawless Bar Assault to kick things off. Kaiser desperately just trying to disengage, but Perks is already gone. And at this stage, G2, they're beating them down with their wallets, with their buffs, with everything that they've got. And Team Heretics just do not have what it takes to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. G2, they're going to win the game. It's going to take a second here, and they might play for a few extra kills, but it is absolutely over. You can see that G2 took this game very seriously from start to finish in absolute control. Heretics found some nice fights, but it's not enough. Absolutely not. Kaiser. Top watch a bit more expensive, he still opts for it. G2 moving up to four and one. A clean performance from start to finish. From the jungle pathing of Yike, the pressure across the map, each individual standing out in their own way. Great game from G2 Esports. Yeah.